Welcome to Scott Adams Grand Adventure Number no. Five, The Count, a grand step up from Adventure Number no. Four, Voodoo Castle, written by Scott Adams and released by Adventure International in 1979. This 23 room adventure tasks the player with finding the internationally famous Count Dracula and driving a stake through his heart. I'm not sure if I really can call this a 23 room adventure, being that three of the rooms are actually the same room but in different levels of the mansion, but since I have a thing for the number 23, yes. I'm actually a bit superstitious in that way. I'm going to call it 23 rooms instead of 21. This was not the first adventure that used a timer, but I feel the timer mechanism in this game is much more advanced than in previous games. It tracks what time of day it is, how tired the player is, and how many days have passed. Three days are needed to defeat this game, and if it's not done in that time, you lose. Another thing this game includes are some random elements. Much like the Pirate in Advent, more often called Colossal Cave Adventure, it is possible to run out of time waiting for these random events to drop and be forced to restart the game. Game over. Now with some planning, we hope to avoid this. Now the count was originally released on a 16K cassette, which I have converted to a floppy disk using Offset and New DOS 80. And as you can see, we're still using Tristos 2.3. And with a quick dir one we will get the command that we need in order to start the game. Voodoo? Do you want to restore a previously saved game? No. Adventure, version 8.2, adventure number 5, version 1.15. Copyright Adams, 1979, box 3435, Longwood, Florida, phone 1305862 or 17 This program will allow you to have an adventure without ever leaving your armchair. You will find yourself in a strange new world. You will be able to look at, pick up, and otherwise manipulate the objects you find there. You will also be able to travel from location to location. I will be your puppet in this adventure. You command me with two-word English sentences. I have over 120-word vocabulary, so if a word doesn't exist, try another. Some commands I know. Help. Save game. Score. Inventory. Quit. The author has worked over a year on this program and is currently writing many new adventures, so please, don't copy or accept a pirated copy of Adventure. Press Enter. I want to call your attention to the word writing is misspelled as writing. I'm lying on a large brass bed. Visible items, sheets, pillow. Welcome to Adventure 5, The Count, dedicated to Alvin Files. I see I was put to bed. It's afternoon and I overslept. The word adventure is misspelled. This is our standard layout that you have grown accustomed to, where the upper portion of the display is the description of the world, and the lower portion of the display is your interaction with that description of the world. As with all previous games, I've made a map of the area, and I have planned out everything that I'm going to do. Only this time, with the amount of random drops that can occur, I am not sure if it will work out. Let us see together. The first thing we need to do is get the sheets. And then we need to get up. I am in a bedroom. Visible items, closed window, brass bed. Obvious exits are north. We are going to go north in a hall inside the castle. Obvious exits north, south, east, and west. We will go west. In a kitchen, visible items, oven, and dumbwaiter. The oven is a solar oven, so we cannot use it during the daytime. I know that sounds counterintuitive, but it will make sense later. Instead, we are going to go to the dumbwaiter, and then we will raise the dumbwaiter. I am a dumbwaiter by the room. We will go room. We are now on the third floor of the building. I am in a pantry. Visible items, sulfur matches, dusty clove of garlic, dumbwaiter. We need the garlic. This will protect us some. And then we also need the matches. We are going to go back to the dumbwaiter now. Let me show you something. The parser is not actually a full word parser. It only parses the first portion of each word. We need to lower the dumbwaiter to the first floor. And normally we would use this lower dumbwaiter. But instead, this is how I run through commands when I am mapping things out in order to save keystrokes. We lower the dumbwaiter, and then we lower the dumbwaiter again, and then we, we go to the room. 
We are in a workroom. Visible items, locked door, rubber mallet, dumbwaiter, vent, memo tacked to the door. Obvious exits are down. We are going to go down. In a dungeon, visible items, dark pit, iron rings in a wall. Obvious exits are up. We want to tie the sheets. To what? To the rings. Sheet tied to ring going into pit. Let's climb down the sheets. It is too dark to see. This is a timed event. I am in a pit. Visible items, unlit torch, other end of the sheet. We know there is a torch there now, so let's get the torch. And then climb back up the sheets. Puts us back in the dungeon where we go up. As you notice, there's a vent here, so we will do this because at a later point this will make sense. Go vent. Sorry I cannot do that. A bat might make it, but not me. Let's go back to the dumbwaiter. I'm in dumbwaiter by the room. We are going to raise the dumbwaiter one floor and then go room. And this puts us back in the kitchen with the solar oven. Go east. And here is where we have to do our first set of waiting. Some time passes, a bell rings somewhere, ding dong. Lucky us, we got it on the first try. Sometimes it takes five, ten tries, and too many turns pass before we're able to get the next step done. So we need to go east, and there is outside of the castle, visible items, coat of arms, postcard, bell pull. Let's get the postcard. And then we read the postcard. It's for Dracula. It's an eating and ghouling bill from a local mortuary. There's a note paper clipped to the postcard. Let's remove the clip. And then drop the postcard. And drop the note. I would read the note here for you, but because time is of the essence, I can tell you the note just tells us that there will be another delivery tomorrow. We go west back inside the hall, west again to the kitchen with the oven, go into the dumbwaiter again, and we need to go down. So lower dumbwaiter. Since we are still in the dumbwaiter, we are going to go to the room. This is back in the workroom. Visible items, locked door, rubber mallet, dumbwaiter, vent, memo tack to the door. Let's go ahead and pick the lock. That's what we needed the clip for. It's now a closed and unlocked door. Rubber mallet, dumbwaiter, vent, memo tacked to door. Let's open the door and then go door, which puts us in a closet. Visible item, small vial, century worth of dust. We are going to empty the vial. Three no-dose tablets. Get the tablets, do an inventory. As you can see, I am carrying a paper clip, a tent stake, an unlit torch, sulfur matches, three no dose tablets, and a dusty clove of garlic. I want to drop the stake here. It's important to drop it here because we'll be locking it up and it will be safe. We are now going to go west, which puts us back in the workroom, and then we are going to close the door and lock the door again with the paper clip. I want to take a moment and read the memo. Dear adventurers, I wanted to take this time, one move, to thank all of you out there in Adventureland for the fantastically warm reception adventure has received. Happy adventuring, Scott Adams, Chief Adventurer. Now let's go back to the dumbwaiter. And then raise it. It is getting dark outside. We want to go room, which should be the kitchen. You're in a kitchen, visible items, oven, and a dumbwaiter. I want to show you what happens if we go oven too early. Sorry, I can't do that. There's a tremendous amount of heat and sunlight coming out. It's getting dark outside. Let's go ahead and light the torch. From here, we're going to go oven. We're in a giant solar oven. Visible items, large tempered nail file, large dark lands set in the ceiling. Obvious exits are west. We want to get the nail file. 
And then we need to get out of here going west. Puts us back in the kitchen. Then we are going to go east into the hall, south, which puts us in the bedroom. And then we want to go to bed, unlight the torch. A bat flew by and laughed at me. He smelled something and flew on. Unlight the torch. It is too dark to see. And then sleep. I see I was put to bed. It's afternoon and I overslept. My neck looks bitten. There is not a way to avoid your neck being bitten. Also, this is now day two. We are going to drop the clip because we're not going to use it for a while. And then we get the sheets again. Somebody keeps doing something with the sheets. Get up. And we are in the bedroom. There's a closed window and a brass bed. And we are going to tie the sheets to the bed. Now we have closed window, brass bed, the other end of the sheet, sheet tied to bed. So we need to get the end of the sheet and then open the window. Go to the window. We are on a ledge outside an open window, visible items, flag, pole, and wall, sheet going into window. Here we are going to drop the end of the sheet. Loose end of sheet going over edge, and then we are going to climb down the sheet. I'm hanging on the end of a sheet. I made a fold in the sheet so I can leave things here. There's a window box here on the side of the castle. So let's go into the window box. I am in a flower box outside an open window. Visible items, end of sheet hanging here. Daisies. Let's go into the window again. I am in a doorless room. Visible items, full-size portrait of Dracula window. I am going to remove the portrait. Dark foreboding passage has appeared. Let's drop portrait and then go back to the window. Climb the sheet. We are hanging on the end of the sheet, so we need to climb the sheet again. Now we are outside the window on the ledge go into the window, puts us back in the bedroom, and from here we are going to go north, into the hall, and then north again, which puts us in a bathroom, visible items, mirror, pocket watch, and toilet. From here we need to examine ourselves in the mirror. My neck looks bitten. I appear pale and drained. I think I can only take two more days of this. So we are going to go south, back into the hall, and then we have to wait again. And this can take a while. A bell rings. Ding dong. So we're going to go east. There is now a package there. So let's open the package. Coat of arms. Bottle of type 5 blood has been delivered. Pack of Transylvanian cigarettes has been delivered. The rest is what was already there. So we're going to get the pack of cigarettes. And we need to go west, back inside. And then we need to go south, back into the bedroom, and go to the window, and then climb down the sheets. It is starting to get dark outside. We are going to go into the flower box, and then we are going to go into the window again. Let's light a torch, because we are going to need it. And while we are at it, I am going to have us eat a tablet make us really peppy. Now let's go into the dark foreboding passage and then go north. We are in a crypt, pile of extinguished cigarettes, vent, and a sign here that says positively no smoking allowed here, signed Dracula. Obvious exit is to the south. Let's drop tablets now. We do not need them at the moment. We already took one. And then we are going to get a cigarette and then light the cigarette. Obviously, if the sign tells us not to smoke here, we are going to smoke here. And smoke the cigarette. There's a coffin, bad joke, in the room. It's a stone coffin. It is closed. Let's open the coffin and then go to the coffin. 
The coffin lid is open and it has a lockable slide bolt. So let's break the bolt. With what? With the file. And with that done, we want to go up to get out of the coffin, drop the cigarette, and then get out of here by going south into the dark passage, south again. Let's get another cigarette now. This is because we are going to lose our pack and we want to have another cigarette for tomorrow. So we go to the window and this is the end of the sheet hanging here. We do not climb the sheet with the torch lit. It will set the sheet on fire and we will plunge to our death. So we are going to unlight the torch and it's too dark to see, but we already know what we need to do, which is climb the sheets and then climb them again. And from here, we're going to go into the window, go to the bed, and sleep. I have a hunch I've been robbed. I see I was put to bed. It's afternoon and I overslept. My neck looks bitten. It is now day three, and there are things that we are no longer going to need. We are not going to need the garlic anymore. So we drop that, we get the sheets, we get the clip. We need to get up into the bedroom, head north into the hall, and head west into the kitchen, and go to the dumbwaiter. And then we lower the dumbwaiter, go to the room, which is the workroom, and we're going to pick the lock again. We need to drop the clip because we're not going to relock it. Let's go ahead and drop the file now, because we will not need it anymore. And we need to get the mallet, open the door, go to the door, get the stake. Head back out of here to the west into the workroom. We're going to go back into the dumbwaiter. We are going to raise the dumbwaiter. We're going to go back to the kitchen, go east, which puts us in the hall, south back to the bedroom. We find that the window has been closed, so we are going to open the window again, tie the sheets to the bed. Then we are going to go back out, well, get the end first, and then go back out the window. Drop the end of the sheets, climb down, go to the flower box, then go inside. Here we have the dark foreboding passage, the full-size portrait of Dracula in the window. Light the torch. We are going to go to the passage, go north, which puts us in a crypt. I've neglected to mention the vent here is the same vent that connects to the room up above that it would not let us in, but was only the size of a bat to get through. Here we still have the cigarette in our hand, so let's light the, the cigarette. Let's smoke the cigarette. Again, there's a stone coffin here. Let's open the coffin. Then we are going to go coffin. As you can see now, Dracula is a prop here, and we are just going to kill him. I drive the stake through his heart. The townspeople come and carry me off, cheering. Don't worry, I tell them I owe it all to you. The adventure is over. You want to try this adventure again? If you look up above, you will see there's a moldy old skeleton with a stake in the rib cage. Do I want to try this adventure over again? I would have to say no. Why? Because this playthrough was spliced together from seven incomplete playthroughs and one complete finished one. It is an exceptionally frustrating game in that way, hoping that random events will drop with enough time left in the day to do everything you need to do. It's still a great adventure though, and I highly recommend it to everyone who would like to use the LP you just watched as an idea and or roadmap to getting through it yourself. Now here's the map I told you about that I would put back up at the end. You can count the number of rooms yourself or you can take my word for it. I really should do a video on how these maps are made though, shouldn't I? But by now, you know how this works. 
I really should not have to ask you to like and or subscribe or tell you to share this LP with your friends. You by now know if you like what I'm doing, and you either have or have not. Still, I kind of wish that you would if you have not, as it really helps me out. If you have a request, a game that you would like me to do, let me know and I'll have a look at it. I've been focusing on the TRS-80 series, but I'm not above doing other systems. Just so you know, the big Z word is still in the work. Z, as in Zork. Huge, but in the works. Slowly. Let me see, let me see. Like, subscribe, requests, what else? Be well, and take care of each other.